Hello, Lyrical Voices, Bridgeport, everybody who's been in support of our movement as a community, as artists. I just want to wish everyone a happy anniversary. Lyrical Voices, it has been so impactful for so many reasons. So many people have met, become friends, networked, you know, created, done so many things together and found each other in that space. There's so much to celebrate and so many reasons just to come and be happy and enjoy each other's company. You know, I hope to see all of you there this Friday, December 22nd, as we celebrate nine years. Buddha Love Jones is DJing. Alicia Cobb is body painting. We're in Gallery 1212 once again. I brought it back to the back to the roots, back to the home. I've done a lot of other events over the past year, but this is the first time in the last year that we really got together as a group and just celebrated who we are and what we do. And we have a lot to celebrate. You know, people have written and produced plays, people have created new poems, people have created new songs, paintings, photography, body paintings. Um, they, we've just done so much and we have so much to celebrate as a community. And I think that at Lyrical Voices, you know, it's a great time and we're gonna have a great time. We're honoring Rosal Branch and Gina Levon Simpson both who are very impactful in the artist community. Razul creates, he's the artist, he does photography, he does graffiti and paintings, he creates shows for artists, he plans trips for the whoever wants to go to Canada. And he does so many amazing things. He's headed a lot of the movements that have gotten us into you know, galleries in the community that have just promoted art in Bridgeport. And I think that he needs to be recognized for the work he does. And Miss Gina Levon Simpson, the my alpha at Mount Airy Baptist Church is her baby. She gave us the gift of telling the story of black history from before slavery because we were here before that. So before slavery to now, talks about current events and issues. She's a drummer, she's a mother, she's so many things that should be celebrated and honored. So we're going to do that at Lyrical Voices. There's some surprise, surprises happenings. I hope that everybody comes and I hope that everybody, you know, so if you don't bring a poem, tell somebody you know who has one to bring it and read it. Let's have a full open mic. Let's come on time so we have, you know, good seats, good spots. Lyndon is selling food. Darrell is selling cupcakes. Janelle, um, Tamika, there's going to be jewelry and accessories and clothing and music buddha love jones you can book him for your wedding baby shower bar mitzvah he djs for everything alicia will do body painting she does belly painting she does body paintings if you just want your whole body painted i do photography i'm a painter johnny's a photographer there's just so many people who do so many different things and it's so worth experiencing and I just really want to get us all together again and celebrate what we've accomplished, celebrate who we are and what we've done. And I just want to thank everyone because I had a vision and I've been supported in that vision. You know, people can have a vision and no one will show up for it. But clearly this was meant to be. And you have been so supportive to me with my own artwork, with my poetry, with the ideas I have for these events that in my head sound good, but they're a lot of work. And I never know if you know it's gonna manifest the way I see it. But thankfully you do show up. You get about your house, you get in your car, and you drive sometimes for 10 minutes. Sometimes for 10 and 12 hours, people coming from North Carolina and Maryland and 
in New York and Springfield and Massachusetts and Harvard and just all these amazing places with amazing people and amazing art and you have art in those places but you still want to participate in what we do and people who just come out their house and drive five minutes to the venue and get there and stay until like the wee hours of the night just to get on the mic you know it's just so appreciated and necessary and I don't know I'm just thankful I'm very thankful and I'm very appreciative and I'm very just in awe I'm in awe <laughs> of the, the extent people go to be supportive and I hope that you feel that I do the same because I try I try to be as many places as I can be and support as many people as I can support because I want you to know if I haven't told you already that every time you show up every time you say Shana this was great every time you tell somebody else what they did was great or they want to share it with you and you listen or you show up if they ask you to come or you just listen when they need somebody there. You know, it, it goes far beyond poetry. The core of Lyrical Voices is poetry, but <laughs> it's so much bigger than that. It's turned into a family, a network of people. It's turned into a love space. And that's what I really want, if nothing else. I said, when this all began, I never had any idea that it would be so monumental to people, and I'm thankful for that. But I, it wasn't, it went far beyond anything I could ever imagine. And it's just bigger. It's just bigger, and it's necessary. And I appreciate your support. And I hope to see you. And if you can't make it, I hope that you're somewhere that you're loved and inspired on that evening because that's what we've been working toward. Continually being loved and inspired and creative, right? So, happy anniversary, Lyrical Voices. Thank you, Buddha. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you, Cecil. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, wow, Gerald Moore, who opens the doors of his gallery and lets us just be comfortable and free until whenever we're done. Um, thank you everyone who has traveled. Thank you everyone who's shown up. You're just as necessary as the people who participate because who else would we read our poems to? Who else would we sing for? Who else would we show our artwork to? You know, every person who comes is important and we are thankful for all of you. I am thankful and let's keep it going. There's a lot more to do. We have December 5th. I'm the ambassador for poetry at Housatonic Community College. So on December 5th, we're having In His Words, which is a celebration of male poets. It's going to be in the Housatonic Museum of Art from 6.30 to 10, December 5th. And then we're also going to have a series of events there. So there, I'm in the process of creating an event for Black History Month. We're going to do the Women Gather Again for Women's History Month in March. And then there's going to be um, a spring event for healing and creativity through poetry. Um, so yeah, come. Come be part of things. My website is www.poeticsoularts.net and I'll put it in the description box below so you have a direct link to my website and I will be updating my calendar and making sure everybody knows you know what's going on you can also find me at Shana S-H-A-N-N-A -N -N Tanika T-A-N-I-K-A Melton M-E-L-T-O-N or Poetic Soul Arts on Facebook so that's everything and I hope you're blessed, I hope you're well, and I hope to see you again November 22nd, this Friday, at the Bridgeport Innovation Center, Gallery 1212, 955 Connecticut Avenue, Bridgeport, Connecticut. 
The admission is $5 before 10 p.m. and $10 after. Please come on time. We open the doors at 8 o'clock. Get a good seat. Get your spot on the mic and chillax while Buddha Love Jones plays wonderful music for you. Okay? I'll see you Friday. Thank you. Peace out.